Okay, let's move on to a slightly different way of looking at your data, namely counting. Everything that we've learned about querying so far has been retrieving documents from the database, but occasionally you just want to get a count of those documents that match a particular criteria. MongoDB has a mechanism for doing this, which is called the count command, and the count command has a convenient helper syntax similar to the find syntax. Specifically, if you query for scores having, say, the type exam, then the find method will retrieve whatever documents have that particular field. And again, if you want, you can iterate through results interactively by typing it. If you want to merely count the number of documents that have type exam, instead of executing the find method, you can call the count method, and there are a thousand. If you recall how we created this collection with that nested loop in a previous section, we inserted an exam document for each student ID, up from zero, up to but not including a thousand. So the count method more or less performs an analogous function to what a query does, namely counting up all the documents that match a particular criteria. There's not much more to it than that. All right, let's try a quick quiz on counting. How would you count the documents in the scores collection where the type was essay and the score was greater than 90?